Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2. Now it's time for us to check outside. Let's see if Byakia is somewhere in here. What's up Chiaki? Hey Monami. Guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hajime? What about the party? Oh, uh... Oh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakia pass by here? Nope. Byakia? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakia? There was a sun blackout inside the old building and Byakia vanished during the time. So, we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope. Nobody came out. Nobody came out. Does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, he might have. We might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Okay. Hey. Ah, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's. That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. It wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange. Nobody no. was in the office? That's weird. Huh? What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Huh? Pekko's gone too? Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Snark, snark. Truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Did something happen, Akane? Smells. Well, do any of you smell something? Well, well, I'm partially just suggested food is absorbed by the smell in the small intestine. It decomposes by bacteria, releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whenever it comes... Okay. Thanks for giving us the history of farting. Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait. It smells like blood. Oh, blood? Mm. Sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> it's coming from the floor table at the very back of the dine hall oh you want me to check it got it I'll do that the smell of blood what in the world is at that table it's under there under the table I dashed towards the table at the back reached out toward the tablecloth and then I stopped is this nervousness Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Um, oh, there we go. of my life I will never forget what I saw what I saw I saw the ultimate fluent pro progeny Yakio Togami already dead and beyond recognition I just stood there, horrified, as showers of scream ran behind me, as I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Yay! Wow. What is this? Uh, 
hey, 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 hey. This is it's impossible. Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> this can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce. Because if not this. <laughs> What the Good hell? gracious, things quickly take a turn for the worse. Hey, Monokuma. My, my. Now this is interesting. On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has taken place. Murder? Could it be? Oh, hold on. Then does that mean... <laughs> of course. That's right. Yakiya was killed by one of you. What? If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life has ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this? If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Yakia most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. But lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled up within my body. Which means that. that I've accepted the fact that Yakia was murdered. Is that really Byakuya? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Byakuya? I see, I see. It appears Fuyahiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna so, do? in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? Oh. A body has been discovered! Now then! After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Whoa! Class trial? Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the black end. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct. That's right. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible. It can't be. Someone actually killed? There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed Byakuya? There's no way. Something as hopeless as that would never happen. No, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Yeah. Come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. In a position, life risking battle between you guys and the Blackhead, and it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, hey what are you saying? Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there's only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Grave? Your grandpa is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Emergency. What happened to your grandpa? Grandpa... Did this plane crash? I don't even know where to begin. At this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. <laughs> okay. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Corkscrew attack. Lovely. Okay. Do you see that? The stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. 
Now then, in the spirit of love, doubt, and dubby depression, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yippee! Phew, I wish you the best of luck. Um, and with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who are grief-stricken alone with our despair. Hmm. What, what does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Oh. I searched for Ryaki's killer. No idea did it turn out like this. What's going on? Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, uh -huh. You can't doubt each other because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hanhans really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all going to get killed, right? Please, that being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. No. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not, because I'm a bitch. You gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. Mm. I won't forgive no, you. friends telling friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut, oh, up. shut up! Just go away, right? You useless piece of trash. Oh, uh, <laughs> threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? But no, I don't want to do something like that. No. I don't want to either. It sounds so scary. However, however, it is just as. He Yoko said, if we're going to get killed by not doing it, then we must do it. St but still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. For So for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I'll do my best to prove there's no, no killer among us. There's no need to deceive our doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In close circle detective games, the player usually has to decide who on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. To destroy the evidence? Pointing! Look over there, that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. <laughs> no! <laughs> what the heck? What happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence in investigating the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. I'll have I am medical trained, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. Please. Um. So you're gonna stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. Hmm, it's pretty obvious. We're just all we're all just amateurs. It's just a grain of sand at the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey. So, let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start by th from there and prove that none of us could have killed Piakia. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. But I have no choice, right? And there's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I, I won't it. believe. Yeah, yeah, I get killed. I don't believe that at all. Ah. <laughs> Fine, I'm in. 
You are right. If we are going to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Find out who the killer is? That's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Investigation! You thought it was time for the investigation, but... It's the Monokuma file! Yeah, just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? But what the hell is a Monokuma file? Jeez, explain the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. Let's see, the Monokuma file contains fresh, uh, detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I am such a nice guy. Yeah, you're charming. It's so nice, I want to be known as a Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My, my, Monami the meaningless mascot? You're still here? You stupid Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Ouchie, yeah. don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. They're finally gone. Monokuna file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. Mm, probably be a smart idea. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mira. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdomen region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poisonings were detected. So Byakuya really is dead. Damn it, you promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now, I'll never know what you were going to say to me. No, I don't care! Flashbacks are boring, especially if they happened in the previous part. What did he even mean? Could it be... A traitor? No wait, just because he said a lot of strange things doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Alright. Need to clarif carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Now it's investigation time. Mm. Only thing on the table is the dust lamp. Okay. All right. I actually don't mind this. It's gonna go smell like the rusted iron hanging in the air. During the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly gaze. Uh huh. Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I could do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Well, let's look at these night vision goggles. Looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars on the table? Hey, he's Hajime. Those aren't binoculars. Eh, then what are they? Perhaps those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them in supermarkets on the island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. Huh. Hmm. Alright, let's check that tape. Paint, not... Should be going paint? Obviously, let's look at that knife. Hold on. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's also... Okay. Dim glow. All right. Now look at the Akia's body. Okay, so the Monokuma file has been updated. Am I done? Do I have... No, that just took me to that. Oh, his hand. Okay. All right, Nikon, have you done your autopsy? Okay. Spread eagle. You made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget it, I mean. Oh, well, did you end up like that? Startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I... It's so embarrassing. Please, please erase from my memory. Sorry. I can't stand it. Yeah, this is gonna be a truth bullet. Okay, Mahiru? Okay. This is the worst. Jeez. The fuck? Hmm. Hey. Photos. Oh, right. She took photos. So she. Yeah, let's look at those photos. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Something wrong? Hmm. Right before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Yeah. Was this body on the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Yakia was standing along the wall furthest away from the table. You're right, and that's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing positions before the blackout might be a huge clue. Can you approximate everyone's standing position from those photos? For sure, I'm the only job I can do anyway. Thanks. You better do your best. Do you understand? We were just talking. Oh my God, you're a bitch. Uh, this thing? Should be. Oh, that could have been the sound. Pretty sure we are gonna have deaths on the same time. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Gundam, you then want to hit the food? I want to talk to Gundam. Okay, I don't care about this. I don't care about this hellhound earring. Shiver. Forget the night I battled that fearsome. Uh huh. But for now, we won't need to investigate. Where is it? You. Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor. The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fell through the gap between the closed floor beds. <laughs> Bobble. 
I can see it. Ah, there it is. I have found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound earring. <laughs> Seems God exists for my benefit. Let me oh, ask. How do I recover it? Put my arm through the opening. Where do I use it to? Uh, probably not much either. I should just give up. What? You! Uh huh. If you glitch, you will die. Okay. Go save the world. You do that. All right. Well, let's look at the obvious Derulium case. Um. Huh. Ah, the small key. Haven't talked to you? Nagito. Hey. Something I wanted to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakia was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? That's right. Mm. Byakia's dead body was discovered after the blackout. But don't you think he died during the blackout? Yeah, that but. Well, how's Byakia's in the body? Kelo tried to hide him. Now, it's not like he would have stayed him forever. Hmm. Seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving that mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. If I've seen was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Hmm. Hajime. Yeah? Hey. Finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Yeah. Uh, you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a and similar to mine. Both harbor special feelings sort of hope to speak academy, isn't that right? Yeah. Thanks. Glad. He'll be a great help. Hmm. I don't think I agree. Okay. Now then. Well, the blackout that took place at the time it happened during this entire building. All right, well, we buy. Hey, you're the one who we wanted to talk to. I see. I see. Yeah, a great man once said investigation should be done on foot. Yes. So that's why I'm using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Hey. I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Yeah? How'd you know? So you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. Hells yeah, you do. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout? Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice through the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibuki, it'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Uh. <laughs> la -la -la, I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. I see. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. Okay. Yeah, just tell us. Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it. Aww. First person raised their voice in the blackout was. Mahiru. It's a blackout! Kazuichi's voice. Hey, then it was hers. I can't see anything. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! What a nice remark. I made it to the point and it was my own unique charm. Continue. More voices, one after the other. Mahiru, Calm yeah. Down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on? I here? think it would be a lot better if they didn't have voices, like during the actual blackout. Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys, where are you? 
wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? With Dinah? the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praises. For her time, seriously, don't get any closer. Say something to her. Did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakia said during the blackout. What Byakia said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was why was he about to say that? What was going on here? And this is. What do you mean? Hmm. About that. Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? Now I can't really say anything for certain. Yep. Yahoo! Let me bite ya. Why are you really biting me? Ibuki Miyota! Um. Hmm. Sonia? You have something to say? Um. Ask you. It's apparent that only the wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Well, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? You've never seen one before? Sure, that should keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow! I see. It's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic balls around the house. <laughs> Don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed! Truly, I'm current. Culturally ignorant, I am so ashamed of myself. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, we might as well investigate everything else over here first before, and then we'll investigate everything else other way. the other way. Okay, Teru Teru. Ah. Of course, I thought it was just the kitchen. But when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pushed back too. And I heard everyone's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Could you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. That's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. Huh. Okay. Um, this? Ah. Well, guess that. How much does I or Zabu? Yeah, you don't want to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where'd you get it? <laughs> That's Nekomaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. Bare hands? <laughs> Doesn't seem completely impossible either. That's because they look like they specialize in punching things. Seriously, Nakamura is so wild. He's totally right at home in the country study. I'm so jealous. No town's near I want as of a new so wild country, things like that. They slip my mind a lot, you know. Man. Hmm. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dish, only two people actually tasted them. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. Scary wings, man. Okay. This. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, it was about hey. the knife. Yeah, I did that too fast. You're right. Oh yeah, once they say that, then you know for sure you're done investigating. I'm a little comfortable. Oh, I thought something was gonna happen. Oh, Nagito? Hmm. Makes me wonder. Well, we might as well check the storage oh, room. What else can we do? Oh, oh, sorry, I just punched the controller against myself. Dusty and dark. Wow. My hands are full of...
these irons. Hmm. Same as the thing. I was looking for Bianchi after the black guy. I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But does that seem kind of sinister? Huh. Okay. How about this? Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Wait, huh? There's something on it. A blood stain? Huh? I can't. Come here. Take a close look. But, hmm. Yeah. Well, if that tablecloth has blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. And it's a blood stain. Um. Boxes? <laughs> yep. How'd you make Okay, that that's the sign that we're done investigating that room. So we'll take the hint. Oh jeez, Louise, you scare me. Alright, the bathroom. So apparently it must be inside since it's a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Is someone in there? There's no response. This is going nowhere. Yeah. All right. Check the obvious office building. Not really office building, but this. How'd you mean? Old Billy and Circuit Breaker should be inside this office. Might be related to the blackout, so it's better if we check out the Circuit Breaker first. Okay. Right there. Huh? Timer is here is set to 11.30 p.m. Was well, that the timer of the air conditioner? Oh, okay. Alright, uh, circuit breaker. There it is. I see it. Doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. If you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, it was panicking so bad, I forgot about that, but... Alright, even with a stepladder, there's no way you'll be able to reach that circuit breaker. I mean, someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout? But who? I did it! Whoa! It's here! Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the, o I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... I'm the one who tripped the... I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work really good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker... <laughs> my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. Oh, thanks, Mr. Fantastic. Cool. Liar. I'm serious. Wanna see? When I see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out, it's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks. Just imagine it would make me want to puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So Still, cool. Don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. Oh what the hell? He so he's the one who set the breaker? Okay, so I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. Hmm. Well, let's look at the obvious derulium case. Hey. Just be safe, but it's locked. Yep. Oh, okay. Now, now. We're going to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. See? It's open. Uh huh.
Right, okay. Uh, Peko, we might as well talk to you since you were in here, apparently. <laughs> what do I tell you? You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unsuspected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakia was killed. Anyway. Circuit Breaker is in the office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the Circuit Breaker and the Derulium case with all that weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Um. Well, that is... Okay. <laughs> I go suddenly dropped to one knee and start groaning on the spot. Uh, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Heiko, it appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Seems that will like will be a tough path. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard to say to myself. I already feel bad enough for Peko as it is. What does that mean, huh? That's right. Uh, Kazuichi, what do you guys say? Maybe. What do you think I that? True. Well. Hmm. Hey. Well. I don't know about that. Now then. So we're done with the office, don't you think so? Yeah. Okay. We're done. Ah. Uh. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess cottage. Yep. Might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know. I see. As I thought, you are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Alright. Alright then, let's get going to Biakia's cottage. Okay. Strange scene of only before me. Sup guys. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Is it really, though? We're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Oh. Under the floor? Why? Yeah, why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? I helped if you it is point it out. Under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought. It was important to check it. Okay. I see. On the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Biakia's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible that the killer killed Biakia by stabbing him right beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can go it underneath it from here. Well? Mm. Mm, I guess it's possible to get under the floor from outside. It's not possible. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Can't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. I think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? Anyway, it seems you can't get on the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Hmm. Because if you can get on the floor from the outside, there will be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party, and also doesn't have an alibi. Alright, Fuyahiko. Oh. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get on the floor from outside. Well, 
Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? You did? Huh? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course you... not. I was just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report you, report you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Hm. Leave me alone. Mm. And then, he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? When did we start talking about video games? Alright. I see. Don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakia's cottage. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. All right. Thanks for that. I'll be carrying on right now, my wayward son. There will be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest, so don't cry no more. Hey, Fuyahiko, we were just going to talk about you. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently, Byaki is the one that got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? Huh? Checking my alibi, eh? <laughs> I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Shiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! It's noisy bitch. Jeez. It's true, I went for a little walk, and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I want to do that? It's a coincidence. A coincidence! Alright, I got it. <laughs> Dumbass. Cool. All right. Biakia's cottage is right next to mine. Lovely. And hey, a level up. Oh, it's locked. Hey. Guess we need to ask him for help. So Nagato took a deep breath. Hey. Monokuma. Did you call me? Yeah. Nagato, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we need to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? What the fuck? <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can't even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. That would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Biakia's cottage already. Well... This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This mm, if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba 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 loos! Ba ba I'll leave the rest to you! I'll unlock the door, now you can investigate to your heart's content. Hmm. Jeez. Only power by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Sup? You're the oh final Monokuma for this chapter. How's that make no. you feel? Pretty good, huh? Cool. Let's look at the obvious thing. Sample on the table. It is a letter someone sent to Biakia. 
That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. How'd you man? We should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. And it's. Oh my gosh, what is? Ah. Oh. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Ah, uh, what was the virus that was like always like you had to be careful to check your mail because there was like the chance of the virus coming out. Ah, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Girl, who would send something like this? Maybe. Hey. This is why Biakia suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight because someone made this threat to Biakia. He gathered everyone in one area and he was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So, he believed this crazy letter? What? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was a worst case scenario. Hey. Remember what Biakia kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Hmm. Everyone knew that what was what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely began to doubt each other, and at that point there'd be no turning back. So Byakia tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Yeah, it makes sense. In a way. Anyway, whoever sent Byakia this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this couldn't be a prank. It might have nothing to do with Byakia's death at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once we received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakuya and kill them right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Okay. Hey. Probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, you asked Mario here for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I w wanted her to find out where everyone was standing just before the blackout. Probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I like some time to collect my thoughts. Oh, I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the result of our autopsy would be re ready by now. Bye now. See you later. Yeah. Bye, Nagito. Oh, I thought I was going to teleport me. Damn it, no one never teleports me anywhere anymore anymore I had the strange not strange song I had a uh, I just had a song a seether song stuck in my head broken anymore huh what the is everything okay Nekamaru? Feels so lighthearted right now. <laughs> I, Necromaranita, had been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? Oh. Lose anyone, not even to my past self. That's cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Shit. Shit. What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scrandal was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something about that shortly after the party started. However, if you think I've been angered by something like that, you're all unnerved my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. 
He said that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole deal. Oh well, that's not to get into it. So the bathroom was shut before the party started after the black. So what I mean is it was finally unoccupied after Biaki's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. Hmm. That seems important. Somehow. Okay. Two more clues, and then hopefully the class trials should start, or we'll get the announcement. Mahiru? Hey! Hey, you're here. Where the hell did you want her off to? I was investigating as much as I could, you dumbass. Find anything mm. useful? Oh, yeah, you bitch at me about slacking off, but all you did was one hey. thing. Just as you told me, using the second two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did that, this diagram was the result. So... Okay. Alright. Yeah, that seems pretty accurate. Possible there's no way he was able to move that far during the blackout. I extend from the table where Biakia was killed. Um, uh, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. Power cord for the desk lamp? For the stand from the table where Biakia was killed, that means. Hey! So, did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, but. Hmm. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it's not a waste at all. Huh? Huh? Not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Alright, Mikan. Um, if you like, I can tell you a little bit of what I wanted to say. Did you find anything? I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Biakia's body. And I discovered that there were several punctured wounds around Biakia's chest and abdomen region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. I can't be assured that a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. <laughs> you okay? Talking about made me sad. No need to put yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you want to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still, around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an... Ow. I have no idea what the AWL is. There we go. Yay. Alrighty, guys. It's finally time. That's right. It's time for the long-awaited class trial. Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay. A mountain with a carving mom Kuma face at the central island? We get teleported there instantly, which is good. And it's all the way over here. If you remembered when I first came to this island, uh, 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 it's right here. Here it is, Monokuma Rock. And in the next part of Let's Play Dongan Rumpa 2, we are going to start the first class trial. I'll see you all in the next part. If you enjoyed what you saw, why don't you click like. Also, if you want, you can subscribe by clicking on the picture right there. Also, follow me on Twitter by clicking on the Twitter bird. And if you missed the video that I've done in the past, so click on the annotation right below the featured video to watch something I've done in the past. Who knows? You might actually like it.